Using keyboard shortcuts is one of the keys to working more productively and more intuitively with SketchUp. I provided a shortcuts Excel file in the exercise files folder for you to customize. And I've also provided a PDF of the same thing that you can print out. I recommend that during this course, you just print out the PDF and use the shortcuts as you see them here. And then after the course, feel free to make any changes that you see fit. I've mapped the most commonly used commands to single letter keys. This way it works the same on the Mac and on Windows. I've also arranged the shortcuts so that they map directly to the keyboard. So we work our way across the keyboard on the top line from Q to P, and then we have the second row of keys here from A to L, and the third row from Z to M. And then there's the space bar and some optional extra shortcuts you can add at the bottom. And these require a modifier, so you have to press Shift in conjunction with a letter. Many of these shortcuts are already part of SketchUp by default. Many of them are not. So let me show you how you can configure the shortcuts. Go to SketchUp, and on the Mac, you'll go to the SketchUp menu and choose Preferences. In Windows, you'll go to the Window menu and choose Preferences. You can scroll down this list. This is a list of all of the different functions in SketchUp. Only a few of them have shortcut keys assigned to them. You can see them in the list here. So because it is such a long list, it's really helpful to use the filter. Let me bring up the PDF next to this dialog so I can start inputting the shortcuts. Rotate. So rotate is found here under Tools. And you can see that in the interface, Tools, Rotate. Incidentally, the Mac also has a hardwired shortcut, which is Command-8, that you can't change and you can always use. But again, that's only on one operating system. So I prefer to memorize the single letters and then I can use it no matter which system I'm on. So I want to assign the shortcut to this particular function. Just click on it here and then type Q. That's all there is to it. It's assigned. It shows up over here. Then clear the filter. And eraser is the next one. Notice that I've left a blank here. This is an empty shortcut that you can fill in with whatever you want. You'll have to assign it to the key W. And there's one other blank down here for the key D. But eraser is already assigned by default. It's always E. R is for rectangle. T is for tape. Now Y is not one of the defaults. And it's a bit confusing here because of the way that they use slashes. This is actually under the edit menu. Edit, close, group, or component. The slash is really just kind of like an or. It works on either kind of structure. So it's not a separate menu that you have to go to. So I'm going to search for that by typing group. And there it is. So I'll click on that and then type Y. And it's assigned. Then the next one is unhide all. So I'll clear the filter and type part of the word unhide. And I'll see unhide all here. So I click on that. And then I'll type U. So U is for unhide. Incidentally, one of the optional shortcuts down below is unhide last. And I chose to assign that with shift U rather than W or D because it's really related to unhide all. It's similar. So while we're here, I can select that one and press shift U. So just continue in this way, assigning all of the shortcuts in the PDF in SketchUp.